two most highly acclaimed comic writers of all time, Alan Moore and Grant Morrison, acknowledged nearly going mad after encountering demonic forces associated with practicing Satanist Aleister Crowley's magic. In the introduction to the popular occult book, The Necronomicon, written by Simon, who as we have seen is the Crowleyan writer Peter Lavenda, he warns that anyone who attempts to use the spells in the Necronomicon may unleash dangerous forces. In leading comic writer Grant Morrison's article on pop magic, he admits that those he's instructing in contacting demons may not be able to handle, quote, the intense negative feelings demons embody, and even has a section in the article on banishing rituals because he states that when contacting these demonic entities, quote, there's always a danger of obsession and madness. When the famous English actor Sir Christopher Lee responded to rumors of his allegedly extensive library of books glorifying the occult and black magic, Lee at the University College of Dublin warned that practicing the occult will cause one to lose both their mind and their soul. I have met people who claimed to be Satanists, who claimed to be involved with black magic, who claimed that they not only knew a lot about it, but as I said, I have certainly haven't been involved and I warn all of you, never, never, never. You will not only lose your mind, you lose your soul. You will not only lose your mind, you lose your soul. Do you regard black magic as being purely fictitious or is there some truth in it? Some truth, 100% truth. There is nothing fictitious about black magic in any way whatever. It is a fact. It is a fact uh, which has existed for several thousand years. I mean, when we talk about black magic, we are talking about Satanism, necromancy, alchemy, witchcraft, the worship of uh, Satan, um, the worship of dark forces, whether it's voodoo, juju, whether it's something practiced in the Western world or the Eastern world, uh, whether it's uh, easily defined or not easily defined, the order of the left-hand path, the, the following of this, the following of that. It is basically the worship of the force of evil as embodied by Satan, Lucifer, the princes of darkness and their legions and so on. The famous sorcerer Nostradamus warned in a letter to his favorite son, Caesar, against practicing magic, which he stated is condemned by the scripture and leads to eternal damnation of the soul, declaring, quote, Also, my son, I beseech you not to exercise your mind upon such reveries and vanities as drain the body and incur the soul's perdition. Above all, avoid the vanity of that most execrable magic formerly reproved by the Holy Scriptures. Elvis Presley, who was in contact with the spiritual world and used occult practices, planned on marrying his living girlfriend, Ginger Alden. He was planning a wedding ceremony, which would be held under a pyramid-shaped arena, quote, in order to focus the spiritual energies upon him and Ginger. The wedding never took place. According to Ginger Alden, Elvis died of a massive heart attack and keeled over onto the floor while reading the occult book, Sex and Psychic Energy. Dark demonic powers may bring you temporary money and fame, but ultimately they always lead to destruction and damnation. Hey, Joe Schimmel here. We want to thank you for watching. We want to also encourage you not to forget to sign up or subscribe to Good Fight Ministries' YouTube channel. We have the most amazing content. We also have the very popular Good Fight radio show where we examine all kinds of things in light of scripture, as well as 5.11 News, which is also very eye-opening. And we also have mind-blowing video exposés that you won't see anywhere else. And our 24-7 online radio station, the Good Fight Radio Network, as well as my sermons from Blessed Hope Chapel over on the Blessed Hope Chapel YouTube channel. So thanks again. We'll see you later. And we just pray that the Lord blesses you richly as you seek his face. God bless.